what? Let me uh, let me try to be cool for a second. Hang on. One second. In 2021, the year of 2020 at Jace, you're not a cool YouTuber unless you have some like cool lights in the background, popping blue or, or neon yellow or whatever it may be. Anyway, uh, I'm Hey Archer, by the way. Uh, so if you're new here, I am Hey Archer. Here we talk all things nerdy, movies, video games, TV shows, pathetic loser, all that kind of stuff. But also, I like to talk about the YouTube content creation process, the photography process, something I really enjoy. So it's kind of like a mishmash of things here that I find interesting. But lately, I've been really big into vlogging, which if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do that and follow the untitled vlog. I've been into vlogging lately, doing these kinds of videos where I'm actually going around the house or going outside just to even just chat with you guys. And I've been using my video mic and the video mic is great. The issue that I have with the video mic is that I have to always be in line of sight up close to the mic because it is a shotgun mic. And everybody, including the former everything man, Anthony blah, 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 loves the Rode wireless mics. So they actually came out with a new one, uh, the Rode wireless mic 2. And I want to unbox that. I got that in the mail. See how it works. We'll go outside, test it that way. This isn't going to be super scientific. If you want a scientific, reaction or whatever video. There's plenty of other channels you can watch. I just want to show you how this applies to just doing this, the vlogging. I might even try doing it on my Hey Archer live show or seeing if it works in that kind of uh, usage. Enough blabbling, blabbling, enough babbling. Let's just roll into it. Intro. I ended up ordering from B&H, which I've actually not been to B&H since college, back when I was an advertising student. And that was like the place to go for photography. It's crazy to see how they've gotten like so popular over the last couple of years in the YouTube space because of just all the things they have, photography and video. All right, so, opening up. Oh, there's two things in there. I might have forgotten something I ordered. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. I ended up ordering a dual cold shoot mount. So that way I can plug this in on the top of the camera where the microphone goes and have maybe two different mics. I can have one mic um, or I can have the, the wireless transceiver there talking to the wireless mics. And then maybe the shotgun mic is pointed at me. So if I'm recording somebody, I'm getting their sound and I'm getting my sound perfectly clear. So that's why I ended up getting that thing. So cool, I forgot all about that. Nice. And then we have our wireless go too. It's funny, when it comes to audio, Rode is like the place to go. I'm using the Rodecaster to, to do all my audio recordings that, you know, for the podcast, for this right now. Oh, tons of goodies in there. First thing I notice, of course, is we have a little carrying pouch. Got some instructions. We have a USB-C cable. I've got tons of these now. We have another USB cable, another USB cable. <laughs> And then we have our uh, 3.5 audio cable. All right. Ta -da. Oh, we got these little cute fuzzy things. The little wind guards. Oh, okay. So the three cables is because of the three different things here. This will be one of the mics that has no screen on it. And then this must be the receiver has a screen on it. Now, the thing I saw online as I was watching the reviews and the unboxings is that the, the mics are already paired to the receiver, which is great. So I don't have to actually go around and, and put it in pairing mode, 
figure out what's what, etc. And then these little guys here just kind of Got like a little afro on it. <laughs> All right, so I'll read the instructions, figure that out. Uh, let me unbox the um, the cold shoe mount. All right, there we go. So I can have the receiver on one, have the shotgun mic on the other one. But something to note here: there's no um, there's no sensor or connector. I don't even know what they call it, but it, like if you had a flash, you can't. Put a flash on one of these and have it talk to the, the camera unless you have some sort of wireless flash system but i do not have a wireless flash system so you can't use this for flashes but you can use this for audio all right so uh this is i gotta say this is pretty good quality because i'm listening to it right now let me try cl clipping it on this thing all right, so you don't hear me moving around that all that much. Um, no. So it was a good thing I bought the cold shoe mount because this does not attach anywhere else on the uh, EOS R. So the other thing I can do is just not have the backup one on the top, but leave that empty. And then when I'm not recording, take this one off, slide it on there as I walk around doing whatever it is I'm doing. But uh, this would be the setup at the moment. All right, let's go outside and see how it sounds. But we also want to put on the ND filter. Gotta do that. How can I forget? All right, ND filter's on. I'm not gonna raise the ISO just yet. So, this is how it sounds as I'm walking up the stairs. There you go. I think so far, so good. Let us try, see how far we can get. So, walking around, rocking away. So I'm pretty far now, and uphill. So see how the sound is, if you hear any wind. All right. Testing it outside with a mask on. And that person who's not been in a video in a while. Uh, see how it sounds without the mask. Uh, anyway, uh, so far the only complaint I have on this thing is the mic is so small that I actually almost dropped it, but luckily it got stuck on the uh, camera strap. Otherwise, we're outside, we're moving. So let me know how that sounds and uh, what you think. I was thinking of it, I was like, oh, we should all watch party of that. And it just like, it left my mind. I should have uh, should have wrote it down. Yeah, there you go. So um, I'm actually now using a wireless mic. So that's also why today in this episode, like I'm even more like looking down at different things to make sure that the sound balance is good. I'm using the Rode Wireless Mic 2. Um, I am currently working on the unboxing video. Uh, I shot pretty much everything except for this part now because part of the unboxing video is me talking about can you use the Rode video mic to still do like live streaming and all that kind of stuff? So, uh, so far, so good. I think one channel is definitely higher than the other channel with this. So I can always mess around with the Rodecaster and figure that out. But otherwise, uh, I think it sounds all right. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so right now I'm using the Nifty 50. It's pretty far away. Got the autofocus going right now. And I don't have to feel like I'm yelling. And you have a blurred background. Blurred. You do have a blurred, you have a blurred background right now. This is great. Using this microphone is great. I'm loving this mic. This mic is absolutely, absolutely amazing. The price is a bit high. So if you're getting like into that entry level position of what should I buy, I do think, I do think going with just a regular road video mic is a good start. Um, it is a bit cheaper and you can get a lot done with the road video mic But once you're ready again to that like next step That's when looking at this microphone will come in Mint so I figured it only made sense that I would actually use both mics right now So that way you get an idea of what they each sound like 
Now, you're gonna want some headphones for this part because I think that's gonna really help you figure out which one sounds better to you. But most importantly, it's gonna let you determine whether or not it's worth paying the extra money to get the wireless system versus getting the actual mic system. So at this moment, I am using the wireless microphone. So this is what it sounds like as I'm just talking to you. I will say, what's up nerds? It's me, your buddy, your pal, Hey Archer. Welcome back to, welcome back to my channel. Same distance right now. I have to talk a little bit louder, I'm guessing, so you can hear me. But what's up nerds? It's me, your buddy, your pal, Hey Archer. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know, what do you think? Right now we are on the shotgun mic, the Rode video mic. So does that sound good to you? Do you think the other one sounded better? Or do you like this instead? Is it worth the price difference to you? It's really what it's gonna come down to. It's also gonna come down to which one's available because the Rode Wireless Mic 2 is actually pretty popular and only available at B&H's website. It's not on Amazon yet, or at the time of me shooting, it's not on Amazon. So that's where you wanna determine which one actually works best for you. So is the Rode Wireless Mic 2 the go-to mic for just YouTubing? I feel like I had to say that. It's like the most YouTube way to say that. I don't do things like that, as you know. Is it a good microphone? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. Are there some learning curves to it on going wireless versus using a wired system like using my Rodecaster Pro? Yes. But overall, I love the freedom of just not having anything in front of me. No shotgun mic up here, it's just right there on my persons and it's nice and clear. So if you wanna get your own, there will be a link down below. Of course, you wanna like and subscribe to the channel. More unboxings coming out as I currently unbox a new computer. More unboxings, two minute reviews, and of course, the new vlog channel, Nerd Affiliated. So go check that out. Most importantly, I'll talk to all you nerds in the next video. Peace.